How you doing, everybody? I'm Ken Bykoff, along with Peaks.com founder and publisher Mike Pegram, a longtime writer Jeff Rabjohns. And Peaks, I want to start with you, Indiana, 68-60 winners over Penn State. Just how important is this game for Indiana, not in only in terms of this week, but just this NCAA tournament resume? Yeah, they're up, they're up to 18 and nine, and they really couldn't afford any home losses, having lost twice already. It's it's huge. I think 20 wins is the magic for them to get into the tournament. And they have two very winnable games here at home to end the season. Uh, but they're just playing better. And this was, I think, their sixth uh, quad one victory, which is quite a bit versus the rest of the country. And I think that was huge in that regard. So two two back-to-back -back, uh, quad one wins this week uh, really has totally changed their tournament outlook, in my opinion. Yeah. Jeff, just the, the, the growth of this team, up 19, down 6, mm -hmm. managed to come back and score an 8-point win. Just how important is that that they, they were able to go ahead and do that? Well, I think it's really significant. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've seen times this year where I use uh, kind of gotten punched in the mouth and, and, and really hasn't been able to respond. Uh, you know, Archie talks about making the game uh, 10 four-minute rounds, and there have been times I use lost a few rounds and really hasn't gotten off the mat. Today, they really got off the mat in a big way. Um, you lose a 19-point lead, and sometimes the wind is taken out of your sails. You know, they answered the bell. Penn State put them up in the corner of the ring and hit them a few times, and they were like, okay, we got an answer. And it was really big for Indiana to be able to answer, and I thought Justin Smith was big. Uh, Race Thompson was unbelievable. Uh, I thought the guards actually did a pretty good job most of the time. And if you look at the end of the Maryland game, from a while ago, and then you look at the way they closed out at Minnesota and the way they closed out today, a sign, one sign of maturity, there are many, but one of them is how do you close games? Indiana is getting better at closing games. Do you think they win this game a couple weeks ago? No, I don't. Honestly, don't. Uh, how impactful do you feel Race Thompson has become for you guys, and why do you think he's starting to emerge here? Race is physical. Race is physical. He puts his body out there. He, he defensive rebounds. He walls up. He offensive rebounds. You're starting to see him in the post get a little bit more confidence right now with a couple back-to-the-basket moves. Race is not afraid. He's not a young kid. He's been here now three years, and unfortunately his season was taken from him last year with injury, or he would have helped last year because he knows what he's doing, and he's a smart guy except on that press where he gave up a touchdown. I don't know what he was doing on that. But at the end of the day, if you look at our wins here recently, he's played a big role because the physicality in our league is above like any other league in the country. There's not another league in college basketball that plays the league as physical as this. You need guys that are willing to stick their nose in there and do it. And that's what race gives us. He gave it to us against Minnesota, gave it to us against Iowa. Nobody had it at Michigan. So it wasn't like he was the only game nobody had, you know, but now can we find a way in, these next, in this next one to be good. But he gives us another mobile guy out there, and, you know, to be honest with you, he saves us. We had foul troubles at the five right now. We're able to play Trace a little bit more, you know, at the center position, which gives him more off offensive opportunities if Race can hold his ground at the four and we don't have to play small with Justin. So, you know, Race is big, 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 big minutes in, in the game. You know, his minutes are big. He's changed the course of our season here you know, as we've been able to get through February. Well, I think going back to Race Thompson, I think one of the big things is in the Big Ten, it's not only can you finish through contact and all those cliches, it's can you play with comfort during contact while somebody's totally engaged with you. You know, I mean, while this stuff's going on, can you continue to play or do you feel you have to dislodge yourself from contact? The, the ability to have comfort during contact and continue to make plays is a big thing. And I think one of the things that changed is now they got more guys who can do that. Race is out there doing it. You know, Ron can give you some spot minutes doing it. And Trace, as a freshman, really was not great in congestion. That was one of the things that if you were playing against Trace in November and December, one of the things on the scouting report was bring contact, bring congestion, bang him. It caused him some problems. Now he's able to play through contact, and he's able to have comfort with contact. And, and, and obviously, you know, Joey Brunk's struggling right now, but he had some really big games early in the year against Michigan State, against Ohio State. They've got four or five guys now who can really play comfor comfortably during contact. And I think that's one of the things that's really changed for this team. Well, Indiana also did a very good job of taking care of the basketball. I think they had 12 turnovers on mm -hmm. on, on the day. And also the fact that Indiana only attempted 14 three-pointers, I think, was a, a big part of this as well because of the fact that, look, this isn't a good three-point shooting team, and that's no secret. And Indiana stayed to its strengths of going inside. The fact that Trace had the game that he did, Mike, uh, 17, 6 of 17, didn't shoot the ball great, but he continued to be aggressive. How important was that? 
just the, the emphasis of this team in getting the ball into Trace has just been so much different these last two games. I mean, you saw it in the Minnesota game. They went relentlessly to them right from the outset. It's almost like, you know, that's been a talking point that just finally really sunk in with this team. I think Trace playing better has helped. Even today when he didn't really shoot a high percentage, it just led to a lot of good things. And I think late... Um, I think when Rob was out of the lineup, they got a little bit away from getting the ball into Trace, and that kept the game a little closer than maybe it should have been down the stretch. But uh, the whole inside out is where Indiana's, that's where they define their team, really. That's their identity plus their depth, I think. And they, they've started to use that to their advantage a little bit, bit better, and that's because Trace has gotten a little bit better, but the team, the guards have gotten the ball to them more. I feel where, where the Hoosiers are right now. I think they're in a really good spot to make the NCAA tournament because anytime you have the opportunity to win your home games and basically almost ensure yourself a spot in the Big Ten tournament, I think you're in a really good spot. And 20 wins in the Big Ten, I think, I think is in. I don't even think there's a question. I think 19 really might get you there, depending upon what happens in some other leagues. But if you have a chance to get to, get to kind of like the key number for you just by winning your home games, you're in a really good position. And they're also playing good basketball right now. They're playing physical. They're answering the bell. Uh, you know, Rob Finnessy has five defensive rebounds and five steals today. Those are ten possessions that you get for your team. You know, those are key things that kind of get brushed over sometimes. But I think, you know, if Indiana gets to 20 wins, I think they're in the NCAA tournament. If they get to 21, I don't think there's any question. Then we're talking about moving up on the seed line.